Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with a quick comic haul. I think this is all that I have left from the last convention that I went to. So we'll get right into it. First up we have the Uncanny X-Men and the New Teen Titans. It's been so long since I went to the convention, I don't remember what I paid for all these books. But I know it was all... <laughs> I know it wasn't much. I think I paid like maybe five bucks for this book. Uh, if that, uh, but I was happy to have it. I know that this is not an expensive book, but this was the best condition of this book that I've seen in a while. It's a very thick book, so it's prone to bends and cracks along the spine because uh, it's very spongy. It's so thick, so if you push it in, you can kind of feel where a book could have easily got bent. Uh, Walt Simonson and, and Terry Austin cover, so pretty cool. I uh, really like the book, and I've wanted it for a while, I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it, so glad I finally did. Uh, next we have uh, the Spider-Woman, number 10. Again, I swear I'm not trying to pick up this run. <laughs> I just keep picking up this run. Uh, so, I think there's only 50 in the run, so soon I'm going to have them all if I just keep this up. But uh, it's a really cool cover. I just think the Spider-Woman is such a perfect... Uh, costume. I think it, it wins my favorite female costume award. Uh, it's a perfect, perfect costume. Just love the colors, the design. Uh, you know, who, who doesn't like yellow and red, you know, ketchup and mustard. Uh, it's good stuff. A little bit of McDonald's. Uh, so there's Spider-Woman number 36. Just really looking great again. Just fantastic stuff. We'll keep the Bronze Age Marvel rolling with uh, Monster of Frankenstein number one. I did not want to buy this book because uh, the condition was so terrible and uh, I had it pulled out on the side and I just put it back and the dealer said, eh, just go ahead and take it. I was like, man, that book is just so rough. I, I, I just don't even think I want it. He was like, yeah, just take it for free. I was like, all right, fine. But there's your <laughs> there's your Plugart um, Monster of Frankenstein number one. So there's your there's your big key for the, for the haul. <laughs> no, there's some better stuff coming. Um, next we have Wolverine number 900. I took this book in to get signed by David Finch. I presented him with several books and let him choose which one he wanted to sign. And this was the one, this was one of the ones that he chose because he said he just really enjoyed drawing this cover. Uh, I liked the skull on it there. He liked how that turned out. And he felt like it was one of the best Wolverines he'd ever done. And if he had a chance to work on Wolverine, he was super psyched. And he just wanted to give it his all, so he really poured a lot of hard work into this cover. And he remembers working very hard on this cover, and that's why it's one of his favorites. So I thought that was cool. Uh, next we have New Mutants 87, but it's the second print. But that's alright. Uh, didn't hardly pay anything for it. Happy to have it. I don't have a first print of this book. My problem is, is I think the cover looks like crap. So, you know, Rob Liefeld uh, is not my favorite artist. We'll just leave it at that. Um, and I just think that it's a pretty crappy cover. So what I do like about it is the second print kind of bronzy gold stuff that they put in the background. I think that makes the cover look much better than the original red. So I'm down with this. So there you go, New Mutants 87. Don't know if I'll ever own the other one. I know it's a key, but you don't have to buy every key. Just buy the keys you like. And then last, and potentially least, I don't know, depends on who you are, <laughs> it's Battlestar Galactica, uh, number one. Again, paid less than a buck for this book. Uh, I think it's a Whitman variant, so judging by the diamond there, 35 cent, and the uh, blank barcode, probably a Whitman variant. Um, it's nice, I like it, Battlestar Galactica one. Uh, this is a book that I've had in high grade before, and I've sold but it doesn't really command that much. It's funny because there's, there are Battlestar Galactica collectors and they're not necessarily comic book collectors. They're Battlestar Galactica collectors. So when you come across a Battlestar Galactica collector, they say that 10 times fast, they'll buy anything you got and, uh, and they like the slabs. So if you get this book and you get it slabbed, it'll fetch a higher premium, but they want the high grades because they want to be able to look at it. They don't appreciate all these little creases as giving the book character. They just want something pretty. So the uh, it, so anyway, if you can get this book in a slab cheap and, and flip it, it's not too bad of a flip book. 
you just got to wait for the right collector to come along and it'll sell. So anyway, that's all I've got this time. So I will leave you with some Spider Woman. How about that? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, thank you all for watching. And when you get done watching these videos, read a comic. Thanks. Bye.